Well, breaking news tonight, an attack at the YouTube headquarters in California. Three people were shot by a woman before authorities say she turned the gun on herself and committed suicide. Another person was hurt while fleeing. All this happening in San Bruno in Northern California at the YouTube headquarters where nearly 2,000 people work. We'll have the very latest on this breaking news in just a minute. But first, breaking news in our own community tonight, a guilty verdict against a Spokane Valley man who shot and killed his wife. But the jury did not believe his actions were reckless. They found him guilty of second-degree manslaughter instead of first. KXY Force Caroline Work working for you with what the jury's decision means and the difference now between this first and second degree manslaughter conviction. Caroline? Indeed, the prosecutor told us today it's a very thin line that separates those two, aside from their felony classifications and the standard sentencing ranges. The difference between those charges really comes down to recklessness and negligence. This jury did not find that Dwayne Thurman was reckless in causing his wife's death, but they did find him negligent. We, the jury, find the defendant, Dwayne K. Thurman, not guilty of the crime of man manslaughter in the first degree as charged. A visible exhale from Dwayne Thurman and claps from his friends and family as the verdict was read. Not guilty of first degree manslaughter. But a jury still deemed Thurman responsible for negligently causing his wife's death finding him guilty of the lesser second degree manslaughter charge. This is what manslaughter is. It's, it's the difference between uh, reckless behavior and negligent behavior, and the jury decided it was negligent behavior. Prosecutor John Lev says while he was hoping for a guilty verdict for first degree manslaughter, he's not surprised the jury opted to convict on the lesser charge. We looked at how the case was presented and how the evidence was presented, and we were very happy and thought the case was presented as best as it could have been and got the result that we were hoping for. Love says Brenda Thurman's family isn't surprised by the decision either. They knew it was a possibility. They are happy that there is some justice. Uh, maybe not as much as could have obviously possibly been there, but they're certainly happy that there's some justice for their, for their lost loved one. The state asked that Thurman be remanded to jail while he awaits sentencing, set for May 3rd. But on request from Thurman's lawyer, the judge approved a 24-hour wait period. Thurman will remain out of custody until 5 p.m. tomorrow. If he posts a $50,000 bond by then, he'll stay out of custody until his sentencing. Love told us today the standard sentencing range for second degree manslaughter for someone who does not have any prior offenses is somewhere in the two year range, give or take a few months there. But the jury in this case also agreed to a special verdict that'll bring on a firearms enhancement, and that could add three years on top of that standard sentencing range. In Spokane tonight, Caroline Work, KXOI4 News. Thank you, Caroline.